everyone. Welcome to the Superhero Math Workshop. Thank you for coming. My name is Miss Bell. Let me introduce you to our amazing teachers that brought these activities to you. We have Miss Yusuf. We have Miss Balaki. We have Miss Shami. We have Miss Saad here today. You're going to need some materials. As you see on the bottom, you need to have paper, scissors, markers, pencils, small cups, paper plates, and counters. You can use noodles, cereal, even little pieces of paper for that. Um, we are going to start with our math activity. Everyone's, there's gonna be four activities. There's gonna be three quiz questions within those activities where you can win prizes. As you are answering the quiz, you need to do it in the chat. You need to put your first name, your classroom, first name, last name, and classroom. And prizes will be listed on Dojo. The first person to get it will, sorry, the first person who puts it in the chat will get the prize. And there will be a list that will go out on Dojo this week. And you can pick your prize up at the school. We're going to begin with Mrs. Youssef. Hi, everybody. We're going to be playing a game today. So for my game, you need a little cup. And you need, need something to be able to put in that cup. So cereal or noodles. Miss Yusuf is using jelly beans today. So those are okay too. Um, what's going to happen is I am going to roll the dice. And however many I get on the dice is how many I'm going to put in my cup. But I'm going against Mrs. Balicki. So right now I want you to pick a team. Mrs. Yusuf is team A. And Mrs. Balicki is team B. So whoever wins at the end, uh, so you have to follow one of us. If you're on Mrs. Yusuf's team, you put as many jelly beans in, as, in your cup as I put. If you're in Mrs. Balicki's team, then you're going to put as many jelly beans or cereal in your cup that she puts in hers. All right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to go ahead and roll the dice. All right, Ms. Balicki, can you see my screen? I can. Okay, here we go. All right, so I got the number four. So I am going to take four jelly beans. One, two, three, and four, and I'm gonna put them in my cup. All right, Ms. Balicki, are you ready? I am. And okay. As Ms. Yusuf mentioned, I'm using cereal, but you can use whatever you have at home. All right, six. I'm going to put six pieces of cereal in my cup. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now it's my turn. So if you're following me, then you're going to follow what I put in my cup. So here we go. All right, three. I am going to put three jelly beans in my cup. One, two, and three. All right, Miss Balicki. All right, same for my team. If you're following my team, put three in. One, two, three. Okay, now it's Miss Yusuf's turn. So team A, here we go. Two. So I need two jelly beans. One, two. All right, Miss Balicki's turn, team B. Ooh, three. You're on my team, put in three. One, two, and three. Okay, so we're gonna take a little break for just a second. Um, get ready to type in the chat, okay? This is your first chance to win a prize. My first question is, what item did I use? So what is Miss Yusuf putting into her cup? Go ahead and type your answer in the chat. I'll give you guys about 20 seconds. You might want to repeat, Miss Yusuf. I think you might have lagged just a little bit. Uh-oh. Um, so my question is, what item did I use? So what did I put into my cup? Go ahead and type your answers in the chat. And the first person with the correct answer will be the one that wins the prize. Ooh, and now we see an answer right there. Rakaya, so jelly beans. Miss Yusuf, was that correct? That is correct. Good job. 
All right, here we go. Now it's team A, so Miss Yusuf's team. Here we go. Oh, three. Man, we really like the number three, I think. All right, three jelly beans. One, two, three. All right, Miss Bullocky. Oh, six. All right, that's a good one for my team. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. By the way, I saw, thank you, Miss Gimlish, for the reminder about if you type in the chat for a prize, remember to put what class you're in. Um, Miss Bell, I know you're keeping track. Rakaya is in my class. She's in 1B. But for everybody else, when we answer, make sure you put what class you're in so we know. All right, Miss Yusuf's turn. All right, here we go. One, so one jelly bean for me. All right, Miss Balicki, your turn. All right. Oh, one All for you one. too. Just one. All right, here we go. It's my turn. And I'm going to have another question in a few more seconds, so make sure you're paying attention. All right, four for Miss Yusuf. One, two, three, four. All right, Miss Balicki, it's your turn. All right. Three, one, two, three. All right, and it's my turn. Oh, one again. So just one jelly bean for Miss Yusuf. I wonder whose cup is getting more full, Miss Yusuf. How full is your cup? Mm, I don't know. I think yours might be more full than mine, Miss Balicki. You've been getting some really great numbers. All right, your turn, Miss Balicki. You got the number two. All right, two, one, two. All right, so my next question for you guys is, what color is my cup? What color is my cup? Remember, when you put your answer and type the answer and make sure you say your first name, your last name, and which class you're in. Are we getting some answers? There's one. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? No. Oh, uh, it's Fantima said blue. I'm not sure which class though, and I'm also not sure how to pronounce her last name. Um, Remember, got to say what class you're in. I'm sure we can figure it out. Somebody knows, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, 2A. Thank you, Miss Bell. 2A. Fantima from 2A. Awesome. Awesome. All right, let's play a few more rounds. Here we go. Um, so it's Miss Yusuf's team's turn. So group A. Oh, six, finally. So six jelly beans. Make sure you get six of whatever it is that you are using. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, Miss Balicki, group B, here we go. All right, three, you're on my team, three, one, two, three. All right, Miss Yusuf's turn. All right, here we go. Four for my team. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, Miss Balicki, you ready? I am. Okay. Five. All right, another big number. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we are actually gonna stop right there because there's another great activity coming up. And another thing you can do with this is you could use two dice instead of one and you can add the two numbers together. So let's say you get a two and a three. 
two plus three is five, and then you would put five in your cup. So that's another way to play the game. Um, I have one last question before we move on. Um, and my last question is, oh, so before I say that, um, it looks like Miss Balicki's team won. Um, and remember, I'm team A and she's team B. So which team won? Who's team won? Who's team one, team A or team B? And I actually just said it, so I don't team know. Team B, Nazar, again, not sure what class. We'll have to find out. Again, don't forget to put which class, which section. So if you're like, you know, KA, KB. All right, that's 1A. Nazar from 1A said answer B. Congratulations to all of our winners from my group, and thank you for participating. Um, I think Miss Bell has a couple words, right? Um, no. Uh, oh, maybe. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Um, no, we're going to move on to Miss Billicky. Sorry, I didn't know if she was going in between to tell. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be doing the next activity, and I'm going to be doing a shape pizza with you. So for my activity, you need a paper plate, just one and we're going to be making shapes on it. So I'm going to be using markers, but you can use whatever you have. If you've got crayons, colored pencils, we're going to be making some shapes on there for our toppings. And also, if you even have like construction paper, if you wanted to draw some of your shapes out and stick them on, I'm going to start with drawing them. And maybe at the end, if there's time, maybe I'll make mine out of construction paper, just because it takes a little more time to draw them and cut them out and stick them on. So. I'm going to start with, and I'm going to move my camera so you can see my pizza. Okay. And if you don't have a plate, you can use anything else. I mean, if you had just like plain paper, you could draw a big circle on it so that um, that would be your pizza. So it doesn't have to be a plate. All right. So, um, and when I do this, you can do the same color as me or a different color. It's up to you. But I'm going to start with red and I'm going to draw some circles. So a couple circles and coloring them in. Let's see, there's one. I'm going to do another one. Two. three, four. All right, so I got some circles there. And again, you can do as many as you want, but make sure you leave room for some other shapes too. So I did some circles to start. I think my next shape I'm gonna do is a triangle. Hmm. I'm going to use green. I'm going to draw some triangles. Now, remember, when we use triangles, it's going to have three sides. One, two, three. And we can color that in. And I'm going to draw some more. Again, you can make as many as you want. Filling up our pizza with lots of colorful toppings. All right. So while we're working on this, I am going to pause for a second just to ask a question, too. Um, I'm going to ask about my pizza. What color did I use for my circles? What color did I use? Remember to put what class you're in. So what color did I use for my circles? Okay, once you put your answer in the chat, you can always keep making your shapes too. I'm in 1D, he said red. Got an oh. answer, Rahaf Aribi in 1D. 
He's red. Perfect. Thank you, Miss Yusuf. Okay. My next shape, I think I'm going to use, hmm, I'm going to use yellow. Again, you can pick any color you want, but I'm going to do some rectangles. Rectangles have four sides. One, two, three, four. I'll color it in. Still make some more rectangles all around on my pizza. Now, as you're making your pizza too, as I mentioned, if you wanted to make it almost a little more 3D, if you had like any scrap paper, construction paper, you could always draw your shapes on it too and cut it out and stick it on. So it's just an option for you because everyone's pizza is probably gonna look a little different. You could also color in um, like all the way around. I'm gonna color it yellow just to fill in like some cheese. And since I use marker, I can just color right over it. All right, as I am coloring my pizza, I'm gonna ask another question. How many triangles did I use on my pizza? How many triangles? And if Miss Yusuf, if you want to announce again, because I can't see it either when they of answer. Course. Thank you. Uh, a couple people answered, but I think they, oh, there we go. Um, Mohammed Ahmed from 1A. He said five. Good job, Mohammed. Very good. There is five. One, two, three, four, five triangles. So if you finish your pizza, if you're all done with it, something you could do too if you wanted, on the back you could even write like how many you had of each shape. So I had five circles. I'm just gonna keep track here that I had five. So this is if you're done and if you'd like to, oh, sorry, that's upside down. That you could keep track of how many you had. So you could go through with all of your shapes. If you're, um, maybe you have some other shapes you'd like to even add to your pizza. Um, I have one last question I'm going to ask. And I'm going to come back to you guys. All right. So I want to know about your pizza. Maybe somebody can, you guys can type in the chat to tell me um, one of the shapes that you used on your pizza. Maybe it was one of the same shapes that I used. Maybe you thought of a different one. So in the chat, type one of the shapes that you used. I, I saw, oh, 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 sh 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 Oh, hurry. We got a little bit of a lag. I think he said. Oh, I was saying, I think the first one that came up was Shafiq Al Johari, and he said circle, but I'm not sure. Who, I'm not sure whose class he's in. What is the name? 1A. Oh, 1A. 1A. Okay. And how wow, do you spell one A is taking a lot of prizes. Good job. What, is the, uh, what was the name? What was the name? Shafiq Al Johari. Sorry, I don't know if I said that correct, but <laughs> we can always look back at the broadcast too to if we gotta check on like spelling of names. All right, so that's the end of my activity. I hope you had fun making a shape pizza. Um, so we can go on to the next activity. Yeah, hello. This is Masad, and I have an activity for you. This activity is very simple and easy. And if you want to play it at home, all you need is a deck of cards, 
a score sheet and a pencil. So if you want to play this game, first thing you need to do is you need to remove all the picture cards. See, you all see the picture cards. You have to put them on the side, remove them from the deck of cards. Then as you can see now, all the cards, they have numbers and you have only the ace and the ace is worth one. Okay, so you're going to have number cards and the ace and the ace is one. Okay, once you remove all the picture cards, you need to shuffle the cards. Then you're going to divide the card into two equal stacks. I wish you can see that. Let me see. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, we can see, Ms. Saad. Oh, thank you so much because I don't have my camera here. Okay. So I'm dividing my cards into two equal stacks and make sure the face, are, uh, the, the face is down. So you have to put them face down. You're not seeing what do you have here. So as you can see, I have two stacks, two equal stacks of card. And then each player is going to draw one card. So two players, we need two players for this game. Each player draw one card and place it face up. So I'm going to pretend I'm, I am one player and here another player. Oops. So I got those two cards. Everyone can see it? Mm -hmm. So you're going to put those two cards in the center. And what you are supposed to do, you have to add the two numbers. So you're going to tell me, what is 8 plus 8? What is the sum of 8 plus 8? And I want you to go ahead and type in the chat box, what is 8 plus 8? So you can win a prize. Come on, guys. You need to add 8 plus 8 and put the answer in the chat box. Oh, I think we have a winner. Nizar, <laughs> Nizar already won. Okay, who else is going to give me the good job, Nizar? I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Let's see who can give me an answer to. Come on, what is 8 plus 8? Good job. Ooh. Well, here's one. Elise. Wow, many are getting. Oh, good job. Ahmed Abuda and Malak Abuka. Oh, my God. We have a lot of good answers. Good job, Kassim. Wow. Yeah, I think we'll just have to go back to double check about who okay. um, had okay, we'll it. Got the doubles, you know, because yeah. did um, Ali Alakbar gave someone yet because i saw him. no i think he no. must have been first after all the other people because those other people already won okay what is the name i'll type it in the chat on for us Thank I'll, you. he's in my class okay this was one and then two good job kids i'm so proud of you many of you gave the right answer wow you're good at adding numbers okay ready for the next round so remember, we have two players. One is going to draw one card, put it face up. And the second player is going to draw another card. And those are my two cards. And we have a new addition problem. What is 7 plus 3? Go ahead, type your answers in the chat box. 7 plus 3. Good job, Abdul Rahman. Oops, sorry. Uh, the, so Abdul Rahman was the first person to answer. Now I'm going to display all the other answers. Okay. Good job, Abdul Rahman. Congratulations. One A. Yeah. Okay, ready for the next one. Ooh, everyone, almost everyone is giving me the right answer. 
Good job, Kit. Okay, ready for the next one. Let's see who's going to do this one right this time. So my first card is seven. So I'm going to put it face up. And my, did we get, and the, the other one is seven too. So we have seven plus seven. What is the sum? Go ahead, add the two numbers and write your answer in the chat box. Seven plus seven. Oh, Muhammad Ahmad again. Wow, he gave the right answer. Shafi, you are already a winner too. Hala Hamoud. Salma, good job. Do we know who the first person was? Was it uh, someone, Hamoud, I remember? Hala Hamoud, for yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, this game, you're going to keep go going all the way until you use all the cards. And whoever got, whoever, the winner is the player with the highest number of points because every time you, you give the right answer, you're gonna, and you're the first one to give the right answer, you're the winner. So you're going to count how many points at the end every, every player got, and whoever got the highest number of points will be the winner. So you can play it with one of your sibling, and it's easy, easy. You practice all your addition skills by using those cards. And this is my activity. I hope you like it. Miss Shami? Miss Shami, please wow. unmute yourself. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Did it again. <laughs> All right, for my activity, we are going to make fraction pies or fraction puzzles, I should say. I'm sorry. Here are some puzzle pieces. So you're going to need four four plates see here we go four plates some scissors and some colorful markers pick whichever ones you guys want so make sure if you don't have them go grab them so i'm giving you a minute to get them while i prepare my plates our first plate is simple we're not really doing anything on it except writing one hole so let's work that i'm going to write it for you one hole just like that you want to see it hopefully yes we can see it So you can put the one hole on the side, grab your next plate, and this time we're going to grab it and fold it. So the best thing I like to do is pinch the corners or pinch the edges. Make sure I line it up 
like a taco. Looks like a taco. Pinch it. And when you open it up, hey, got two pieces here. So now we're gonna cut around the fold. You're gonna cut down right down the fold. If everyone sees the fold, cut right down it. So I'm gonna grab my handy scissors. And just cut like that. So I have my two pieces. With my two pieces, I'm going to take my pink marker. All right. A half. So when you're done, you're going to write it a half like that. See, put them together. Makes two pieces right here. Another cool thing is, if you put them on your hole, you can show, hey, two hole, two halves make a hole. So quiz time, what color marker did I use to write half on there? I think Rama can... Canifer said blue one A. Oh, it wasn't blue. Try again. <laughs> and Muhammad. Oh, sorry. Now it's jumping. I'm not sure who was. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad A. I'm, I'm just playing it on the screen. It's uh, pink. By the order I'm receiving it. And it Muhammad pink. Ahmed from one A said pink. Got this one. Now we're gonna take our third plate. Wait one second. Um, Muhammad Ahmed already won. Do you know the next person? Well, I don't know. Is that the pink is the right answer. So I'm looking for the next pink and uh, we have uh, an overflow of, uh, of <laughs> answers. Very excited students. But the next one would be uh, for pink. It would be NH. This is, we cannot define who is it exactly. So we'll go to the next one. We have May El Ziadi, pink. Yeah, we know she's in mine in 2A. 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 Okay. Hang on. May. Thank you. All right. We're on our third plate. So now on your third plate, we're going to do the top of fold again. So make sure it's lined up against each other again. Here's my top of fold. That's my first fold. We fold it one time so far. Now I'm gonna fold it again. And you guys know how many how many pieces I'm gonna have now once I fold it. Once I open it up, how many pieces do you guys think? If you guys said four, you're correct. You guys see the lines over there in between. So now I'm going to cut it to four pieces. Now, hopefully Ms. Shami's not going too fast for you. And I'm going to take my green marker. And I'm going to write one fourth. Just like that on my pieces. Okay, just like this. So, quiz time now. How many folds did I make? Did I use to make one fourth? Now, 
how many folds did I make? So remember, how many folds did I make? Now, how many pieces, how many folds did I make? Did I use to make it? I see, I think Maria Mahmoud, right? She had two. What class? It doesn't say, I don't know. But I think she was the first one, Maria Mahmoud. She put two. All right, Maria, Maria, what class you, are you in? Yes, can Maria, can you let us know what class you're in? I think she's in Miss Gamlouche. 1D. 1D? Yeah, 1D. Thank you. All right. Last plate. Last plate. Okay. We did one fourth. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed the pattern. We did our taco. I'm going to fold it again. So I made my seashell or my little fam. I'm going to fold it one more time. One more time. And if you're like me, this is your favorite kind of food. Looks like pizza. So I'm going to open it up and cut out all of my pieces. I'm going to cut them all out. It's going to be eight pieces. So I cut them up, and with the power of magic, I'm just going to grab my ones that are already pre-cut. They're my one-eighths, because I don't want to run out of time. Yeah, so now we made one-eighths. Now, last question for you guys. Let's see how many of you guys are paying attention. What did I say the one eighth reminded me of? Mm. Which food did it remind me of? Rosie Peabody. Rosie Peabody. Yep, I don't know what grade though, or what class. Now, just the final piece. Does anyone know whose classroom Rosie Peabody is in? Rosie, if you could please let us know what classroom you were in. I don't know. I, I'm not seeing a response. Hopefully we can figure that out. Soon. Yeah, there's there's about a, a half a minute uh, lag between the live and the uh, and oh, okay. audience, so it takes a second to... No problem. Hopefully she'll answer. Well, if you finish cutting out your pizzas, there's a cool trick. You could find out. Stack them on each other like this. See how many pieces it takes to complete them. So stack them up on each other. And you have nice little puzzle pieces you guys can play with and practice. So, and that is all for my activity. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you try it out some more. Okay, I'm just waiting for Rosie's classroom. Do you know? Anyone know whose class she is in? No. Okay. Do we go to the next person or wait? 
if she doesn't answer, it doesn't look like yeah, she answers. So, so the next person, if it's not Rosie, uh, the next person who said pizza was Fatma Hamoud, but I think she, did she win already? Hamoud. Fatma Hamoud? She already won. Yeah, Fatma Hamoud. You already won. The next one is Kanatega Pereira. Do we know classrooms? Kanatega uh, Pereira. No, she doesn't say. And the next one that mentions. I don't think class, Fatma Hamoud won. Hala Hamoud won. Was there a classroom on Fatma's? She's in my class. Um, I don't think she won yet. One She's B. 1B. She's 1B? Yeah. Fatma? Yeah, Fatma is 1B. So. Uh, well, Rosie, get back to us, and we will put Fatma down for now, and she is 1B. You said we're allowed to do an extra, right, Miss Balicki, if Rosie gets back to us? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, there is. Um, okay. I don't think we'll need to, though. Okay. All right, everyone. I hope you had a good time. I am going to read the winners. We will be posting a list of these. Mrs. Elsmario posted on Dojo when, uh, when the time will be available for you to pick up your prizes sometime next week. Um, we have, and sorry if I say your name wrong, Rakaya. El Rabahi, 1B, Fatima El Hakan, 2A, Nazar El Bakal, 1A, Rahaf Abiri Ab 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 1D, M Mohammed Ahmed, 1A, Shafiq Al Jawawi, 1A, Ali Al Kabar Kasim, 1B, Abara. Uh, uh, Abdella Rama Ahmed 1A. Did I say that? How do you say that, Miss Ad? I did not pick who I'm uh, Abdel Rahman Ahmed. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hala Mak uh, Hamoud 4C, Salma Ella Trash 1A. May El Ziadi 2A, Miriam Mahmoud 1D, Rosie Peabody, don't know the class, Fatima Hamad 1B. Thank you everyone for coming. We hope you had a great time and everyone have a great weekend. <laughs> Thank you.